Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Byrne and once again, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to perform Spearman Rank Correlation Test in the Microsoft Excel. Well, the Spearman Rank Correlation Test is the alternative test that you can use when one of the assumptions in the Pearson Correlation Test is not satisfied. So for this presentation, we will answer the same questions that we had in the Pearson Correlation Test. And it states this way. Is there a significant relationship between the test scores of students in math and their scores during the college entrance test? Alright, and so we will have the same hypothesis. This is our null hypothesis, and this will be our alternative hypothesis. So without much ado, may I bring you to the data that we are going to use in order to perform this particular test. So again, I have here the test scores of students in math and their scores during the college entrance test, right? So before you can perform the Spearman rank correlation test, you need to rank first the values. So let's start with the scores of students in math. So to do that, you type rank averaging, okay, and then you click the first number and then press comma and the Microsoft Excel is asking you of the reference. So you have to highlight all the scores of students in math. All right, and then you click, uh, you press comma rather, and then I'd like to have it in ascending order, then you press one. But if you'd like it to have in descending order, then you press zero, and then enter. All right, now we have the rank of uh, this value, okay? So we need to rank all these values, so to do that, we need to lock some uh, cells here, so this cell. Okay. So let's put a dollar sign here. Alright. Dollar. Okay, and then I think we're done. Then okay. So I think we're now ready to uh, sc uh, scroll it down up to the last number, which is 78. All right, there you have it, the rank of the scores of students in math. And then we need to do the same in the scores of students during the college entrance test. So press equals and then rank AVG. And then uh, click the first number, press comma, and then you need to highlight the reference. Of course, these are all the scores of students during the college entrance test and then you press comma and then again I'd like to have it in uh, ascending order so you press one and then enter okay and so we need to lock also this cell so let's put a dollar sign here so that all the scores in the college entrance test will also be ranked so okay so i think we're done then you press enter and then you click this and then you drag it all the way down up to the last number 390 and there you have it the ranks of the scores during the college entrance test all right so i think we're now ready to compute for the value of r sub s the spearman rank relation coefficient is denoted by r sub s so to compute for the value of r sub s you press equals and then you type corel all right and then you highlight the two arrays the first array would be the rank scores of students in math you press comma and then you highlight the scores the rank scores rather of students uh, during the college entrance test all right and then close parentheses let me show you that okay and then you press enter and that will give us a coefficient of 0 0.34 now that we have the value of r sub s the next thing that you need to do is to compute for t statistics using this formula r sub s times the square root of n minus 2 divided by the square root of 1 minus r squared so to do that let us first find the values of each element found in this formula. Let's start with r sub s squared. So r sub s squared is simply 
r sub s multiplied to itself okay, and that will give us 0 0.11 our n is 109 since there are 109 students in this example and our n minus 2 is 109 minus 2 that will give us 107 and I think we're now ready to compute for the t statistics so you press equals and then you start with r sub s so you click the value of r sub s but don't forget to put an open parenthesis here and then press times and then square root s u r t of n minus 2 is 107 okay and we need another closing parenthesis here because we have an open parenthesis here and then you press divide and then square root of 1 minus r squared so s q r t okay open parenthesis 1 minus r sub s squared is 0 0.11 and then close parenthesis and then you enter all right so this is the value of t now we are ready to compute for the p value again to compute for the p value we will use the t distribution all right so our x here is the t stat press comma the degrees of freedom is n minus 2 and that's 107 and then we're going to use the two tail distribution since the way we stated our hypothesis is non-directional so press 2 and then close parenthesis and then enter now that we have the p-value the next thing that you need to do is to compare the p-value to the alpha level so what would be your decision so so since since the p-value is less than the alpha level, okay, then reject HO. Alright, now that we have rejected the null hypothesis, so what would be your uh, conclusion? So, we can now say that uh, since the null hypothesis was rejected, then we can say that there is a significant relationship between the test scores of students in math and their scores during the college entrance test all right so that would be our conclusion so let me uh, merge this okay so we can now conclude that there is a significant relationship between the test scores of students in math and their scores during the college entrance test and that is because the p-value is less than the alpha level all right so that's how simple it is performing the spearman rank correlation test in the microsoft excel so again i hope you find this video helpful and interesting and please do uh, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that again you will be notified every time I upload my videos. Alright, so thank you for your time and see you in my next video.